Uh, just a quick disclaimer before the video continues, by the way, the 4060 Ti has 16 gigs of VRAM and that is what I am holding and I'm comparing the 4060 Ti versus the 3060 and yes, there is a 3060 that has 12 gigs of VRAM and the 4060 Ti has 16 gigs of VRAM. So I noticed in the last video that some of you were confused, so just wanted to clarify that information. Okay, so last time we tested the RTX 4060 16 gigabyte edition versus the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte edition when it comes to 3D rendering or just 3D productivity. But what about video editing? Does the newer architecture on the 4060 outclass the RTX 3060? And does the 3060's 12 gigs of VRAM actually help it hold up when it comes to scrubbing effects and exports? So today we are going to be putting the two GPUs again through or rather we are going to be running them through some tests to see which one of these two GPUs between the 4060 and the 3060 performs better when it comes to video editing. Okay, so the first video editing software that I tested here is DaVinci Resolve and this is a 4K timeline and when it came to scrubbing the timeline and just playing the footage overall everything was smooth I'm not gonna say battery smooth because you will encounter some stutters in there now how whether it is important for me to keep in mind that i was playing at half the resolution meaning that i was playing at 1440p reason being is because i had denoising activated and if you've used davinci resolve you do know that its denoising is very good but it does come at the cost of extra performance so there is a quite a significant performance hit on your gpu when you turn up denoising this is why i was not playing at 4k because once you turn up the re video playback resolution to 4k or other the full resolution um the playback here yeah, it is playable but it is a stuttery mess so definitely leave denoising up to the final like you've done everything so leave denoising as the last step but in this regard the 4060 ti and the 3060 were pretty much identical now another interesting thing i noticed is that the vram usage on the 3060 seemed to be a bit higher in that i was maxing out my vram usage at 8.4 gigabytes while i was well when i was using the 4060 ti i was maxing out my vram at 7.4 now i don't know if it's the memory bus width since the 4060 has a slower memory bus width compared to the 3060 which again i don't know why nvidia did this but maybe this is where it comes into play in that sometimes maybe the 3060 seems to be utilizing more of its vram more efficiently compared to the 4060 so yeah and again the 4060 ti has 16 gigs so you know it is more it has four gigabytes more than the 3060 but it doesn't seem to hold any advantage over the 3060. another final interesting thing that happened during rendering is that i discovered that the 4060 is 58 seconds slower in this particular timeline in that the 3060 rendered this um 58 seconds faster so again <laughs> i don't know why but the 3060 had seemed to appear um faster than the 4060 ti so that was pretty interesting now moving on to premiere pro everything was pretty much identical in that playback um scrubbing the timeline even down to the render times everything was pretty much identical everything was smooth everything was fluid again uh, premiere pro doesn't have a very heavy denoiser like uh, davinci resolve so yeah, and the cards or the GPUs themselves didn't seem to be affected by um, anything in Premiere Pro, even with like some color grading and some LUTs. And the only different thing that you will notice is that the 36 sometimes seems to be a tad bit faster than the 4060. So yeah, that was the video editing benchmark. So tell me what you think about the video and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one.